this week to The Naked Doctor Show. I'm Dr. Tammy. I'm Lauren. We have a great show for you today. So exciting. Oh, what was it about? It's the memory show. Oh, the memory show. Right, right. We have a great show for you today. All about memory and uh, what else? You'll find out. You'll find out. See you back in a minute. Welcome back to the Naked Doctor Show. I'm Dr. Tammy. And I'm Lauren's twin, <laughs> Lorena. How you doing? Sporting your wig. How you doing? We, we lost the mohawk. <laughs> it's under there. It's under there. I was just talking about my latest addiction, which is doll houses. There's so wigs. many cool things, yeah, with miniatures. <laughs> and then Lauren was like, uh, I'm wigging out on wigs. Yeah, I was like, I'm wigging out. I'm about to start wigging out. So maybe each week you'll see a different version. <laughs> this is the old Lord that I know. This is I know it's kind of actually looks like, like my hair. Better. Yeah, <laughs> before I shaved it off. Um, I don't even remember what you look like. Oh wait, this is the memory show. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I'll remind you, or I'll keep it changing each week so till I could test your memory. So you won't ever have to remember because it'll right. be new all the time. It's funny. Before we came downstairs, I'm like, okay, remind me about these two things. <laughs> You know, it's funny because memory is no laughing matter, really. Mm -hmm. And um, my mom and my grandmother both passed away from complications of Alzheimer's and different things that happened to them, secondary to that. I truly believe that. So I've always been um, very concerned about my memory. And, you know, you start losing your keys like normal people do, mm -hmm. and stress affects your memory. We're going to talk about that, all that as well. But I, I remember thinking, it's not a matter of if I lose my memory, it's a matter of when. Mm -hmm. And my mom actually started in her mid-50s, and I just turned 50. So it's, I'm very passionate about it. Mm -hmm. And well, so- let's not manifest that. Let's not, no. <laughs> but I want to talk to you about some things that you can prevent any problems with. And we do, we do genetic testing in our office. And one of the things that we can test for is Alzheimer's and different genes that can affect that and how your body clears toxins and hormones and all that. So it's not, of course, I came up positive for the gene, but I also know that the way I take care of myself has everything to do with what we call epigenetics, how those genes get turned on or don't get turned mm. on. And there's actually about 30 different genes that have to get turned on mm -hmm. to have Alzheimer's or memory problems. So It sounds like a lot, but obviously, I mean, it happens all the time, so yeah. it must not be that hard to you know, turn, flip all those switches. Well, and environmentally, um, you know, there's so much hormone imbalance. There's so much nutritional imbalance. Mm -hmm. We're exposed to all these toxins and all these things that affect the brain, and we're not doing anything to replenish the vital nutrients and amino acids and all those things that the brain needs so we'll I guess it's, I guess it starts with awareness absolutely so we'll talk about a few of those things that you can do some things you can start right now and um, you know one of the biggest things too I was going through a tremendous amount of stress and I was forgetting things and you reminded me that stress really does affect the brain's wiring and when you're under extreme stress, the hormone cortisol bays the brain and can um, short circuit your short term memory. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, all sorts of issues can come up. So, we'll take a little break and we'll be right back with the Naked Doctor and talk about all things memory. When I came back to see Dr. Tammy in January, because of the month I had had, the month of December, um, we were just having a discussion and you know what I might be able to do and I said I'm just going to be honest with you I've made an appointment tomorrow to go you know check into this stem cell research and she said well we do that here and it was a no-brainer for me because I already had a relationship with her and trust her and um, so that was when we decided to to try the 
treatments and I signed up for the three month program and I've just been totally pleased with the results that I've had because I've not gone back to that where I was just in such excruciating pain um, and we've made great progress. Before we started the program I told her I, I could fall asleep being asleep. You know I was just so run down tired I was depressed all the time and um, I just find myself not having those battles like I was where there was a constant battle. My conditions are just so extreme that um, the improvements that I've made have kept me from feeling like the best result for me is just death and and to me that's been this you know the God's God sent blessing that Dr. Tammy is, has given me is that I don't feel that way um, and to me that's worth every penny that I've spent and uh, you know, I can't say enough about this lady and, and her staff and what they've done for me. Hi, welcome back to Naked Doctor. I'm Dr. Tammy. I'm Lauren. And we're talking about memory today and all the things that you can do. Supplement-wise, I think it's very important, of course, keeping your hormones balanced because keeping those youthful hormone levels, anytime you see someone that looks like they're elderly, it's not because at time. The effects of aging are all about the hormones declining. Mm -hmm. So low testosterone in men, low estrogen in women, skin wrinkling, losing the collagen, incontinence, pretty much everything you see, the hunched over, the you know, mm -hmm. gait impaired is all from bone loss. So keeping that balance is super important and uh, keeping the stress hormones in the brain. If you're not balanced, you're not taking care of yourself, your brain's not gonna function properly. Mm -hmm. So basically even if you are, you know, even if age is defined by, you know, time, you may be 90, but you appear to be, you know, 75. That's why that happens sometimes because they're yeah. just doing a better job at replenishing those, the things that they're lacking or um, and keeping their hormones uh, balanced and whatnot. So, you know, getting that awareness obviously is very super important so that you can prevent things. Yeah, and then the outer beauty, we'll talk about a little special we got going on mm -hmm. here in just a little bit. But um, so one of the things that I had done was a lot of research on different supplements, and one of them is ginkgo biloba, and a lot of people have probably heard of that supplement. And there's a lot of variations and quality discrepancies and things that you can come across when you're buying ginkgo. And so there was a company that I was using that we actually had done some work for, mm -hmm. um, some, what do they call it, spokesperson mm -hmm. stuff. And uh, they went out of business, I, I think, and mm -hmm. so I couldn't get the product anymore. So I took a lot of those ingredients plus some other cool stuff and formulated our own. So this is our brain support, and this has um, the best brand of ginkgo biloba in it. It's got 80 milligrams, and the research all shows that about 100 milligrams is um, what you really need mm -hmm. for keeping your brain functioning. And um, the recommended dose is two of these a day, so that gets you about 160 milligrams there. Plus there's all sorts of other amino acids. There's glutamine that helps with uh, brain functioning and um, also helps with muscle stuff if you get mm. sore at the gym, that kind of thing. Um, and then it's got a lot of other amino acids. And there's actually some stuff in here that helps with weight loss too, like that's in our mix shots, mm -hmm. choline and some oh, other right. B vitamins in there as well. So love, love, love the so the ginkgo biloba. What is, what exactly does that uh, what exactly does that do? It's an herbal substance, but it has ingredients that actually help secure the wiring in the matter in the brain that does the memory portion in the hippocampus. So there's a lot of research that it helps maintain the elasticity basically mm -hmm. of the neurons in the brain that help with oh. memory. Cool. Okay. Um, also this can help with, I mentioned weight loss because of the choline, but also helps with the tension. So anybody with the tension deficit or anything like that, it can help maintain um, that as well. And one of the other things that I highly recommend is fish oil because the brain needs good fats 
to support these little things called myelin sheaths. They almost look like, you know, a hot dog. How, like they used to have those strings of hot dogs and they were tied to each other, like a big mm -hmm. sausage thing. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, I haven't seen that anymore, but somehow when I was a kid, they used to make sausages that way and then they I cut just, them off. I visualize like a dog on a cartoon, like, eating those like yeah you know, yeah, I mean, like, yeah i don't ever yeah. actually remember Endless seeing it in real life down. yeah <laughs> i remember seeing it in real life but on cartoons i remember seeing that yeah. <laughs> well that's what the way a nerve as the as the um transmission goes down mm -hmm. the nerve there are those kind of hot dog links and mm -hmm. it's kind of like a insulation wrapping like you'd have in your roof but it it trans um it uh, basically um conducts the electricity as it goes down the nerve mm. and all the things that help with memory and all those parts in the brain that connect those memories. And it's interesting because one of the reasons that we don't remember a lot of stuff is because there has to be some emotional attachment. So the amygdala and the hippocampus, not without mm -hmm. getting too nerdy, um, if there's an emotion attached, it attaches links to that, almost like accessing things on, you know, mm -hmm. on the hard drive or like your immediate mm -hmm. access. And so if something was really emotional, like when you were a kid, mm -hmm. or something was attached to that, you're much more likely mm -hmm. to remember it because we're memorizing everything around us every second mm -hmm. of the day. If we memorize everything, mm -hmm. that wouldn't be really effective. Right, and it's a lot of times that's why you remember certain people uh, because uh, it's really not so much that you remember them, but you remembered how they made you feel. Yes. And so, you know, when you see them again, it'll trigger that and it'll just, you know, stick in more of the memory slots in the in the brain because yeah. it made you feel a certain type of way. Emotional. And also, which is why, um, you know, traumatic things or uh, first time things, we remember a lot because, you know, they are very much Emotional a, full of, yeah, yeah, full of emotion. Yep. So um, one of the things with fish oil is we need those fatty acids to make those kind of insulated, cushions across the nerve and it's very interesting because the fats in the brain are essential to that particular functioning that nerve conduction that happens and so cholesterol medications like statins and I'm mm -hmm. not telling anybody to stop their medications mm -hmm. that's my disclaimer but statins actually decrease your cholesterol which you need fatty acids in your brain and I've had so many people um that I've known about patients that have gone on those statins to block their cholesterol, mm -hmm. and it's actually made them lose their memory. Mm -hmm. It also causes side effects of muscle aches and all sorts of bad things. Because it's affecting the links in, in the brain? Because it's affecting the cholesterol, and you need the cholesterol to make your hormones, right? Cholesterol turns into your estrogens mm -hmm. and progesterones and testosterone, so it can make you susceptible to all things aging. And then um, cholesterol is a fat basically. Mm -hmm. And it's not just a fatty globule ready to cause a heart attack in the vessels. Mm -hmm. It actually lubricates the blood vessels. Mm -hmm. So there is a myth that's been perpetrated by the pharmaceutical companies that we need to block cholesterol because it's bad. Mm -hmm. And cholesterol is actually good. Mm -hmm. Now, there are some research studies that show that the cholesterol medications have some anti-inflammatory effect mm -hmm. which can help with heart disease so i'm not telling you to stop any medications but definitely do your research and if you have side effects of cholesterol medications like aches and pains mm -hmm. and memory loss and confusion or depression definitely mm -hmm. um, something to consider it is, doesn't fish oil help with inflammatory? Yes, anti-inflammatory. Okay. So I won't go through the whole pathway mm -hmm. with how that works, but it helps inflammation. Okay. And inflammation can happen in the brain as well. Mm -hmm. So um, we now know that Alzheimer's is sort of like a type 3 diabetes. You mm -hmm. know, we get type 1, which is what children get. Type 2 is induced by being overweight usually. And type 3 is because the blood sugar doesn't have the right vessels to the ability to get to the brain and the right... Um, ways to metabolize the sugar in the brain because we don't have these healthy fatty acids and I won't go into all the mm -hmm. details about that but it's like having diabetes in the brain so mm. this counterbalances that also um, protein powder love this the brain needs protein mm -hmm. and um, sometimes we just don't get enough protein in our diet and we just launched this from our carb melt mm -hmm. brand so absolutely love this stuff you can actually order that on carbmelt.com oh yeah mm -hmm. little plug there mm -hmm. and it's delicious it's vanilla it tastes mm -hmm. like a milkshake 
Mm -hmm. um, also a little plug for our metabolic um, supplement and it's got, it's like a multivitamin basically, but it's got things like iodine and um, vitamin D and chromium and a bunch of things that help the brain as well. So I love this little guy. And methylfolate is a B vitamin that helps with nerve conduction. And it's interesting because um, my mom was in assisted living and over about the five years she was there, she was the only one in her unit who had not progressed. What she really died of was she had an iron deficiency and a, um, a GI complications from the constipation from the, oh, iron, the medication. iron use mm -hmm. and the medication. So it was not her, her memory didn't worsen at all while she was mm. there. And the nurses were like, we don't know what's different with her and why she hasn't progressed. And I had her on this methylfolate, mm -hmm. so cool stuff. So I yeah. highly recommend that. Awesome. A um, couple other things I want to kind of plug before we go to break is that we do stem cells here as well. And we've had a few um, traumatic brain injury patients that have really benefited from the um, donor mesenchymal stem mm -hmm. cells. Won't go into all the detail about that. We're actually going to have um, the... Uh, director of oh, this company mm -hmm. probably on next week and talk about stem cell therapy. So mm -hmm. using these in an IV could really help with Alzheimer's. And a little- Among other things. Among other so things, many things, yeah. Um, the other thing is cannabis. We're doing cannabis certifications. Mm -hmm. A lot of research, everybody thinks that cannabis actually causes memory problems because you know, the forgetfulness, mm -hmm. but used long term actually increases mm -hmm. memory function. So um, Alzheimer's is a you hear that cannabis helps memory. Helps memory. <laughs> One of the things, the reason that it glitches the short term memory a little bit is because a lot of negative memories are looping based on emotion. So it's really mm -hmm. great for um, like military people have PTSD mm -hmm. because it stops those little obsessive. Mm -hmm. negative loops yeah but over term you know long term it's actually yeah helps heal the brain well, basically probably, and I don't know I mean you correct me if I'm wrong but probably also like the THC kind of in cannabis you know it kind of takes you on to another planet yeah. so that and might have something to do with why away. certain short term you know yeah. you can't remember anything because you're just kind of like letting yeah you're just in the moment <laughs> which is great and that reduces your stress uh -huh. and so stress can glitch your memory out yeah um cannabis cannabis solution is available on amazon or you can get it in our office read it um of course we talked about hormones estrogen progesterone testosterone so we got the testosterone solution and balancing act those are on amazon as well or here in the office and so a lot of that's very important for brain function. And then this book, The Belly Brain Solution, Gut Brain Access Connection to Health. This was a book that uh, Laura and I put together for that company, actually. So Brain Booster's in here. I just um, did the cover. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. Well, you helped me with all the other <laughs> stuff, too. So. She's the expert on the inside, couple, all the words. A <laughs> couple things in this book. It talks about the connection of the gut to the brain mm -hmm. and stress and um, neurochemicals and all that, but we actually have our food plan in here, our leaky gut diet, I hate to say we're a diet, but meal plan in here, and some different supplements as well, and I talk about ginkgo biloba a little bit in here as well. So good information in that, and that's on Amazon as well. So we've just thrown a whole lot of information in here. Um, so bottom line is keep your supplements, keep the brain healthy, do everything you can to reduce stress, get plenty of sleep, mm -hmm. take care of yourself, self-care. Mm -hmm. If you feel like your memory is struggling right now, uh, come see us, because there's several different reasons why that could be happening, but uh, you know we'll help diagnose wherever that's coming mm -hmm. from. So Thyroid and insulin or blood sugar issues are huge too, so don't let that sneak past you. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, we're gonna take a little break. We'll be right back with a naked doctor. Hi, I'm Dr. Tammy, the Hormone Queen. In my almost 20 years of experience in working with tens of thousands of patients, I found that hormones have everything to do with weight loss. There are fat burning and fat storing hormones, so you have to maximize the fat burning and minimize the fat storing hormones. I've created Dr. Tammy's 21 Day Metabolic Solution, which will help you heal your metabolism and lose weight. Very exciting, so what do we have? We have my daily metabolic support, which is formulated with all the ingredients to help your 
fat burning hormones work better and to minimize your fat storing hormones. I also have a great whey protein if you need a little bit of a meal replacement or just to help with some of the appetite. Helps with that glucose metabolism because let's face it, sugar storage, insulin, those issues are huge with trying to lose weight. And when you crave sugar, it's just no fun. So you're never hungry when you're doing this. Our Detox Complete helps heal the gut so that your body can absorb all these nutrients because if you don't heal the gut first, then you're wasting your money on all this stuff. So I wanted to make sure you have all those great amino acids and anti-inflammatories. And one of the things that we found is most people are not overweight, they're inflamed. And so you have to treat the inflammation for you to lose the weight and for it to be sustainable. I also have my secret weapon, which I absolutely love, which is methylated vitamins. This is L-methylfolate, and this helps clear toxins because most people are not only inflamed, but they're toxic. So this helps clear all of that and helps your hormones work better. And then we have a great probiotic. There have been studies that have shown that people who are overweight have different bacteria in their guts than people who are thin. So if you wanna be thin, you need the thin bacteria. So this probiotic helps heal the gut and all of these things together help your metabolism work better and help you lose weight faster. Hey, welcome back. Today we're talking about all things memory. And interestingly, some of the same things that affect memory, like hormones and supplements, can affect the outer appearance of aging. So super exciting. We have um, a new program that we have lots of programs where we throw a lot of stuff together because we're very holistic. Right. And you want to, you want to maximize, you know, when you're going to do something, you want to commit to it, you know, wholeheartedly on every level and get everything healed or, you know, in balance on the inside and the outside, right? Because if you try to balance your hormones, but you've got really bad leaky gut, you know you're you're kind of you're not gonna even feel the results of your hormones being balanced, and then vice versa, and then among other things. So and you come in to get Botox, but your estrogen's not balanced. You're gonna continue to wrinkle and yeah. break down the elasticity in your body. So and with that comes the new <laughs> aesthetic program. Yeah, super excited. So it starts with hormones. So mm -hmm. it's from the inside out. This is for mm -hmm. men or women. Um, estrogen is very important for elasticity and everybody hears estrogen and thinks bad, but there are certain kinds of estrogen that are good for you and then certain kinds of estrogen in too much excess can actually cause problems so it's mm -hmm. all about the balance and then um, we're also doing Botox mm -hmm. which is great it basically paralyzes anybody's had Botox already knows this but paralyzes the muscles that are flexing basically mm -hmm. or contracting causing the wrinkles so you can even use it preventive all this stuff can be mm -hmm. preventive for skin breakdown as well mm -hmm. And then we have some prescription topical creams, which are very different than anything you can get at the clinic counter mm -hmm. or any place else because they are specifically compounded. For your and skin. For your skin, mm -hmm. and they are the prescription contents mm -hmm. of um, sometimes different hormones that you might need um, or different nutrients and things like that. So we can combine them and whether your skin's oily or yes. dry. Specific to you you know, because it's not just one prescription that anybody, like one one size fits all, you know, it's, it's gonna be based on your, um, you know, specific issue that uh, you need fixed. And we have a doctor that can get a prescription for that. Well, and I just wanna be clear, this is different than, like if you go to the dermatologist and they have that physician's RX or whatever, mm -hmm. and they say they're test, you know, test you, or they evaluate you, and they give you a certain mm -hmm. thing, right? Mm -hmm. Cream or whatever. These are, those aren't prescriptions. Those are, they might be like, you know, an esthetician might be looking at you and go, I think you need this. Mm -hmm. This is actually based on your hormone levels, based on your blood test, and exactly fitted for you in a prescription cream. So this is very different. That's, so that's awesome. super exciting mm -hmm. to me. And then we have an over-the-counter topical cream, which has been formulated by physicians. Um, the crepe cream. The crepe cream. Mm -hmm. Love, love, love that stuff. That's good. Mm -hmm. and, and the um, last one was the uh, unlimited vampire facelift, facelift yeah mm -hmm. which is stem cell and your own stem cells injected in your mm -hmm. face which is which helps um, with collagen reproduction mm -hmm. right and among other things stimulates sure. the blood vessels and it stimulates everything that grows new mm -hmm. skin or dermis or collagen in the face so mm -hmm. super exciting and did you say uh, fillers 
And fillers. Yeah, fillers. you need fillers. Yeah. Maybe so this is a year program point. that we're offering um, that it is the, you know, anti-aging and such from the inside out. Uh, yeah, just a full package. And it's not just for women. You know, I know a lot of the, a lot of the aesthetic type of things, um, you know, men may, you know, feel shame in doing that, but there's no shame in that game for anybody. So no. come on in and take advantage of, uh, you know, being able to, to help that issue from the inside out. Yeah, I'm excited about that because I've always thought we should put something together. Yeah. And now we did. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> We're doers. <laughs> so awesome. Pretty cool stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of that stuff actually that's in that topical cream is a lot of this stuff. And you do absorb nutrients through the skin, mm -hmm. but you also absorb toxins. So you got to mm -hmm. be careful, but um, also can go systemically and help with anti-aging and all things health and memory. Mm-hmm. All right, we're going to awesome. take a little break. We'll be right back. A few months ago, I went to Dr. Tammy with some foot pain. Uh, I had inflammation on the tendons. Uh, she recommended PRP. And uh, we tried it. Uh, a week later, I had no pain. Till now, I've had no, no residual pain. Uh, I think it worked very well. At Christmas time, um, I went in and I saw her and we did a stem cell PRP and in my hip and my shoulder and it was like a week later, it was, uh, I felt so good. Um, I wasn't able to sleep with my arm up or anything because it hurt so bad to put my hand behind my arm and the joint pain is all gone in both areas. After using Dr. Tammy's services, I've been extremely pleased. I have nothing but good things to say about her and I will continue using her in the future. I recommend if you're just feeling old, tired, and the daily grind is getting you down, just go see her, she's life changing. had so much fun this week on The Naked Doctor. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching. You Lauren can... will be back soon. <laughs> or maybe her other friend will be here next other week. Other friend. I love how you do that when you thin your hair. Start having a different accent with each wig. Each wig is mm -hmm. going to have its own accent. So just wait. Oh, you should do like that show Glow, you know, the Russian girl. Oh, yeah, you know, you don't want to hear me do an, a Russian Watch accent. Watch a Russian accent. <laughs> nah, nah. That's all I got. That's all I got. <laughs> Check us out on Facebook. And oh, Facebook, Instagram. Instagram. Uh, HealingArtCenters.com. Um, we we're going to put together the mm -hmm. Naked Doctor Show. .com. Yes, it'll start being a lot easier for us to do this part of the show where we'll just be like, hey, go to the NakedDoctorShow.com because everything will be attached to that. Um, I just have to prioritize and make that happen. I keep her so busy with so many different <laughs> things. So It'll be here soon. Some stuff just kind of gets buried on the list. Mm -hmm. But go to HealingArtCenters.com or look us up on Facebook, mm -hmm. The Naked Doctor Show. And also, uh, just FYI, if you're watching this, I'm sure you already are aware that we are now airing at 1230. And we are on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Oh, yay. Mm -hmm. We did get the Wednesday spot. Good. Yep, 1230. Um, every week. Okay, cool. And Saturday night? Yep, yep. Still Saturday nights after SNL. Yep. Okay, if you want to stay up late after mm -hmm. you've had your last. Late laughs. night with the Naked Doctor Show. <laughs> 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 All right, we love you guys very much. Have a blessed week and um, hope you remember everything that we said today. Mm -hmm, that's right. <laughs> love you very much. Mwah. Thanks for watching. <laughs>